If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay, I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. I, for a clumsy deckhand, probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? How dare you! Shut up, woman! Oh! Leave her alone! Now, what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. And don't come back! Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, oh, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose, if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. <gasps> Don't you look a right, gentleman? Yes. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. And the manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic.
What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Huh. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. Stay out of our business. We must live to fight another day!
That will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now, let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. Oh, so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Cormac. I merely assist. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I have arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I expect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. strikes me as an honorable man, someone who wants to do what's right. And he may have a point with everything that has happened, with what I've done. I can't change the past, but maybe there's a future for me here. And maybe, just maybe, I can do what's right this time. I should head back to the Finnegans, let them know I'm fine.
on your shoulder while you march. Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there. Did you hear, dearie? They are hanging a man in the old fort. Oh, it would be a shame to miss that. <laughs> Let him hide! Killed a lot of you! 
These ruffians are part of the same gang who made trouble for the Finnegans. Christopher Guest, I'm Shay Cormac. John! <coughs> but what are you doing here? Don't mind the asking. The Colonel stopped me. Aha! Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own den. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. The Morgan? What is she doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <clears throat> I tell you what, I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave post haste.
not gonna wait around to see how this ends. It's not worth my time. She's a fine ship, and true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. Well, come aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Splendid! What will you be needing today, then?
My thanks for your trust, Captain. I'm not gonna wait around to see how good it ends. <sighs> 